Hello, today we present a machine learning approach for the sequential assembly of dry joint blocks with a goal to challenge the linear material model in construction. One of the key challenges in our century has to deal with the scarcity of materials. We design buildings to last hundreds of years while they are facing economical obsolescence after only 20 years. This conflict becomes even more dramatic by an outdated model of materials and building components. Today, the obsolescence of a building means that its components turn into trash. We are all aware that we cannot continue to build and demolish in this way. Dry joint assembly methods might offer a solution. They rely on robust and durable connection principles. In interlocking structures, building parts immobilize each other without the necessity of other adhesives. These two instances use a reversible dry joint interlocking method that primarily relies on the geometrical relationship between the individual elements. Interlocking has a long standing in architectural history. And lately the event of computational tools widens the application of interlocking for more informed geometries and arrangements of the building elements. One relatively new class of interlocking modules has been developed by Professor Shen Guan Shi from the National Taiwan University of Science and Technology. This combinatorial interlocking blocks consist of cubes which are arranged in the form of an S and an L shape attached to each other, offering vast combinatorial possibilities. Professor Shi found this, this particular arrangement to be highly beneficial for various engagements of the blocks for interlocking structures. These engagements guarantee for immobilized and interlocking of the assembly sequence. These blocks can be arranged in various ways and might offer huge potential for architectural production. For example, the assembly of column-like structures. So far, the design tools to generate assembly sequences have to be programmed manually and do not offer accessible control. If you wanted to design a specific geometry, you had to test the various engagements manually, which becomes a very tedious task for highly informed geometries. In order to overcome these limitations, we investigated machine learning in particular, reinforcement learning for the task of generating VSL sequences. Reinforcement learning showed great success in strategic games in recent years. Notably, the algorithms from DeepMind were able to beat the best human players in chess, Go, and Shogi. These board games require long horizon strategic planning over a combinatorial number of action sequences. Coincidentally, the problems arising in architectural design have similar combinatorial character, and therefore similar algorithms may be applied in this setting. In order to frame the problem of sequential assembly with the cell blocks as a reinforcement learning problem, we need to create an environment in Grasshopper with which the learning agent can interact by sending actions and receiving observations and rewards, as shown in the diagram on the right. The diagram on the left shows the curve following task used in our experiments. Here, the agent needs to cover a given curve with a sequence of SL engagements. This video shows an example of the behavior of an agent that is learning to solve the curve following task. We evaluated the reinforcement learning approach on a number of curves of different complexity, 2D curves, 3D curves, closed 3D curves shown in the rows of the table. We compared the results to an evolutionary algorithm and to a handcrafted greedy algorithm specifically designed for this problem. The evolutionary algorithm can handle 2D curves well, but it fails on open and closed 2D curves, uh, 3D curves. The reinforcement learning algorithms were able to solve both 2D and open 3D curves, matching the performance of the greedy algorithm. Longer closed 3D curves were harder to optimize and some found solutions were suboptimal. Looking closer at the results on a closed 3D curve, we see that reinforcement learning is able to match the target shape much better than the evolutionary algorithm, 
coming close to the almost optimal performance of the greedy algorithm. Here, the color shows how close the blocks match the desired shape. The advantage of reinforcement learning is that the algorithm can reason over a sequence of actions. For example, in an environment with obstacles, the greedy algorithm will deviate from the desired curve, whereas reinforcement learning can plan ahead and avoid the obstacles. Similar effects should be expected for more complex tasks, such as filling a desired shape or optimizing for abstract design criteria. These reinforcement learning algorithms might help the designers to find more informed solutions based on such given constra constraints. Finally, there's a huge repertoire of forms that can be generated through this approach. The sequential strands can be stacked to create walls and all sorts of architectural components like columns and slabs. We believe that our approach can expand the current techniques for dry joint construction. These interlocking blocks are highly modular and can be used in various combinations. More importantly, these blocks are assembled fully reversible. Our ongoing research focuses on the automated assembly of these blocks through robots and investigations in fabrication techniques for the SL blocks as well as an improvement of the design interface. It is up to designers to fully explore this new territory of combinatorial interlocking towards a circular construction in which building components can be reused in future buildings. Thank you for your attention. We hope you get an understanding for the utility of SL blocks for architectural design and construction. All algorithms are freely available and can be found in the link in the description or in the paper. Thank you.